guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm finally trying to get back into the swing of doing Fossil Friday. So today we're going to be gluing back together some of my fossils and also just going through some stuff from a trip I went on a month or two ago but I haven't had time yet to process what I found so it's sort of going through my sample bags literally straight from the locality so kind of exciting I hope you guys think so um so that being said let's get straight to it so the first fossil I'm going to show you guys is this bellum knight now bellum knights used to be squid like creatures and they're very similar to modern day cuttlefish so as you can see, this bellum knight is actually very interesting. It actually broke into three pieces before it became a fossil, um, but it was obviously cemented in the mud or something so that all the pieces are there and still joined together. It just broke under the compaction or pressure maybe. Um, and then when I was carrying it from the location, I broke it myself. So we're gonna super glue this one back together. Now make your bets, what's the chances Emma's gonna glue her fingers to the fossil? Um, it has happened before, but I'm just using normal super glue. I'm just gonna put it on. Actually, should I wash it first? Right, I'm just gonna give it a quick wash first because there is mud and I don't want to have to do this twice. So I'm just gonna go wash it. I'm just soaking the Bella Knight um, and then I'll just give it a quick sort of brush dry just to make sure all the mud comes off. It actually looks very clean. I just wanted to be safe and make sure there isn't any mud where I'm putting the glue just so it doesn't break again and um, I want it to last me a little bit. So. That's why we're cleaning it. So now that we've washed the Bellum Knight, I'm just gonna apply a nice amount of super glue just in the middle. Um, so it shouldn't show around the edges. Is there any super glue in here? Okay, I mean, not loads has come out, but we're gonna see if this does the job. So now I've applied the super glue, so I'm just gonna pop the piece on and hold it tight. Is holding that's a good sign oh and my thumb is only a little bit stuck there we go <laughs> right so we're just gonna let this dry now and I'm not gonna play with it so I'm just gonna leave that there Bellum Knight is now pretty much dry and I just think how cute is that <laughs> I've never seen a Bellum Knight like this where it's preserved like this I just love that I've got all the pieces and I can now put this in my collection as the strangest but cutest bellum knight. It's definitely one of my favourite fossils I've found for sure. So that one's now all sorted. I think that's the only one we're going to need to glue. Um, I can't actually remember exactly what I found um, but I've got my little basket here with all the bags in. These are just clothing bags so when you order from companies online sometimes they come in these ziplock bags and I always hoard all of them so I can then bring them fossil hunting with me. So Oh, this piece here, this here, if you look, you can see there's a cone at the top just there. So that's what's called the Fragma Cone. So that's part of a Bellum Knight. So Bellum Knights were squid creatures. So that's inside them. So you can sometimes find the Fragma Cone. Um, it's not as common as, you know, Bellum Knight's just the bullet shape, but it's pretty cool to find. Um, so that's one of the better ones I've found so far, um, but I'm always on the hunt for them. And then this is literally, <laughs> this is a bag of Bellum Knights. This, I think this is gonna be a Bellum Knight video. I don't know how to show you this without tipping these all onto my, can you see them all? <laughs> like there's loads in a bag here. I think because of what I was planning on doing, when I went to this location, there was like hundreds of Bellum Knights everywhere. And because I normally always hunt Ammonites, I was like, I need to just get a load of Bellum Knights. I really didn't need to, but I think the plan is I'm gonna get like a vase or something and put all the Bellum Knights into it um, so I can have them on display. That's the plan, but I haven't found a vase that I like yet. So these ones I'm just gonna keep in the bag. Oh, here's a really good fragment cone actually. This is better than the first one I showed you. So can you see it's got the cone. So the outside is just the normal Bellum Knight. And then that's what's inside. So cool. So yeah, that's that and then I think there would have been a Fragma Cone in that one. And then I just liked how fat some of the pieces were, like, look at the size of this one. Like, they normally break into, like, quite a few pieces. Um, like, to find a long one, like the first one I showed you, <laughs> isn't super common because they are quite fragile. Um, but you normally find them this sort of length. Certainly along the Jurassic Coast, they're just like these bullets. So all of these ones need a bit of a clean. 
um, but they're very nice nonetheless. You can find very skinny ones that just look like that and they look very crystalline inside which is always very cool but I just like the chunky ones so yeah I think what I'll do is I'm going to look out in a charity shop for a nice vase or something and just put all my bellum lights in there all cleaned up obviously um, and then just keep the really nice ones out in my collection so this is a bag of bellum lights <laughs> so I need to get something to process those jeez what is in this one it's quite a heavy one I think I've jammed a load of big pieces into a small bag yep it looks like that so we have let it down oh that's quite cool we have bits of ammonite here so they all need a good soak um, but you can see I love it when then I love ammonites and fossils where they're not quite perfect but you can see all their beauty still so you've got like suture lines here you can see there's been some post depositional alteration um, which means it's kind of been like folded slightly which is why it's cracking around here you see I just love it when they've got so much detail I think this thorn in then <laughs> this fragment the only reason I picked this up is because it's of a ammonite called a megalitoceros and this is like a smaller version of it um, and it's of its world because if you guys have watched some of my other videos you know I found a mahusive megalitoceros ammonite which is like this massive ammonite I thought it'd be quite cute just for size comparison of the species to have this mini one next to it but um, obviously I haven't found a whole one yet to go next to it I really want to find like a small whole one um, so I can have them like on stands next to each other in my future house so cute my future house is going to be a nightmare <laughs> and then this is a little shell fossil if I clean it up now I really need to tattoo on myself whether it's a brachiopod or a bivalve I know they have perpendicular symmetry so I just always forget which one's which I think this is a brachiopod um, but it's just really cute I really like any fossil you guys know this um, then we got another big one so what is going oh there we go so this looks to be a hildocera salmonite that is covered in mud <laughs> so it just looks like this this is a nice one should clean up very very nicely so that's that one then what do we have here <laughs> this is a sea urchin that needs a bit of cleaning up you can see it just looks like a lump but um, you might be able to see the like, detailing down the sides it needs a bit of cleaning up and it has been a bit weathered but you can see some of the detailing of the you know patterns I don't know what they're called they're where the spines used to be so they're the little like holes maybe that is what they are just spine holes we'll go with that and then we got a slightly squashed dactylioceros so it's got a bit of a weird shape to it but we like the weird ones so I thought that was sweet we've got loads of bellum lights in this bag nothing new this one's kind of wedged in the rock <laughs> so I think I took this one to see if I could chip off the rock either side so that needs to go in a pile to then be further cleaned up most of these just need a good wash um, which is how I like my fossils I don't like to have to alter them too much but um, it's got to be done sometimes look how cute these ammonites are like snap <laughs> love it and I think that's all the funky ones oh here's a bigger brachiopod see if I can clean it with my fingers a little bit for you guys there you go really cute so I need to get a pot for all my little ammonites my brachiopods and my bellamites that's gonna be my next plan I'm gonna get like weird test tube looking ones because um, then I can have them around the house without them taking up too much space Oh, this is a really fat Dactylioceros. So also an ammonite, but look how chunky this one is. If I compare it to a different species, can you see there's differences there? You might be looked at, yeah. So they have different venter types. So Dactylioceroses don't have any sort of rib down the edge of them. So there's little little ways to work out what species ammonites are and I only know a few and they're just the few that I needed for my dissertation like I've got so much to learn when it comes to different species but I try and remember the ones I know um, otherwise I will have no clue what I'm finding but I'm always looking at new ones all oh, dropping tiny ammonites 
a lot of these need a wash. Is there anything else juicy in here? Mm -mm -mm. That is a brachypod in a rock. <laughs> so probably need a bit of cleaning up, but I'm not sure how much cleaning up you can do to that type. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. We've got another squashed Dactylioceros. Like these guys went through a lot when they died. <laughs> Um, another brachiopod. I did quite well with little brachiopods. Um, so I'm going to go and wash a load of these now, I think, before I take any more out because literally if I move you down slightly, <laughs> I've already got quite a lot on my processing board to go and wash and these ones are just teeny tiny ones that also need a wash nothing too exciting all right then well that's all i'll show you for this video so i really do hope you enjoyed seeing some of the bits and bobs i found on my last trip um and also sticking them back together i have so much super glue on my fingers right now they feel very strange um but that always comes off just with doing day-to-day -day things and also i don't know if you guys can see this yep i drew an ammonite on my thumb so i've done like all my Christmassy nails i love doing like nail art and i thought i've got to try and do an ammonite on my finger so I succeeded <laughs> but that's today's video if you liked please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you thought um yeah i'll link my social media down below and hopefully i'll see you next time thanks for watching